Guys, I finally got Jump Force and I cannot wait to play it. I heard that the gameplay is awesome as all hell and I heard that the story is whack as all hell, but one thing's for sure, I cannot wait to play all these characters and duke it out. But first things first, I gotta get on the grind. Chapter four, baby, it's coming next. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn sane. So there truly is no rest for the weary. I had to go in for some training this morning, and now I'm doing this, making this video, because I need to at least do a video a day. I did not drop one yesterday because I wasn't even home, and it was Valentine's Day, so I spent it with Dragon Ball Rose, but... I'm back on the grind, so I have to do this, and then tonight I do have to work. I actually have to work this entire weekend, so I'm definitely going to keep bringing videos every day this weekend, but it might be a little bit rare to see me on Jump Force until probably Monday or Tuesday where I'm going to be binging it all day. So if you do see me on Jump Force, go ahead and hit me up. If I'm not playing the story mode, then I'll definitely join in a fight with you. If you don't know what my gamer tag is, I'm going to leave it in the description below. Go ahead and add me. Now this is the finale of Dragon Ball X One Piece and this solidifies to me that I definitely need to watch past season 1 of One Piece because the characters, the camaraderie between all the pirates and just the level of abilities definitely got me really interested into watching more One Piece and I gotta say it's because of this fan manga that I'm even interested in watching more One Piece. Now we left off in chapter 3 where Goku is getting rocked by Luffy using his gear abilities and Goku realizes that Luffy's abilities is very much the same or very similar to his Kaioken but probably just a weaker version of Kaioken and Luffy still thinks that he's got the upper hand in this because remember Luffy at this point has not really fought characters that he would presume to be on Goku's level. Goku is probably on deity level when it comes to the characters in One Piece so he's definitely top tier and they have no answer for him but Luffy is doing his best right now to counter everything that Goku has against him. Now unfortunately Luffy is about to learn the hard way what Dragon Ball abilities can do to characters that don't live in the Dragon Ball world and Goku has had enough of Luffy's bouncing him around the town and goes into Kaioken and takes out Luffy with one shot. Now this is not the first time that Goku has hit Luffy enough to have him think that Luffy's out of the fight, so I really didn't think that this was going to be it. But Goku is actually kind of worried, he's like, oh my god, did I really just end this guy? And it does feel that way, and I feel like what the One Piece universe, or at least in this incident, is seeing Goku as, they're seeing him as a villain, they're seeing him as a really great threat. So when Luffy gets back up, Luffy needs to go into another level to face off against Goku. He gets back up and goes into gear second, using Jet Gatling Gun to continuously pummel Goku while Goku's guard was again down. With the barrage over, Goku finally thinks he's safe and he thinks that he can come back and attack Luffy. He knows he can avoid Luffy's attacks, he is fast enough, and he obviously makes a really good punching bag, so he thinks he's got the upper hand, but Luffy goes into gear third, which is the giant arms that look like giant black balloons. And this attack seems to be undodgeable because it takes up the entire street and even Goku's left wondering like, oh shit. Goku takes his L and goes flying into the sea, but it immediately comes back up and now he's ready to end Luffy. Now, at this point in time, I'm thinking that Goku probably is going a little bit overboard because a Kamehameha wave, even from the Saiyan Saga, more than likely, like, directed like the way this panel shows it being directed, could probably destroy the planet if, say, Luffy was a character that couldn't bounce it back or take it. When he does do the Kamehameha wave, this is probably the only panel in this fan manga that I gotta call bullshit on because 
This Kamehameha wave went right through Luffy. It popped him like a balloon. He was done for. If anything, it destroyed the town as well because it went right through Luffy. There's no way that Luffy took this and bounced it back. But going with the manga, it seems like he has. And he bounces it back and hits Goku dead center. Goku did not see this coming. And I still don't think that he realizes the extent of Luffy's powers, of his gum gum powers. And... That is Goku eating a Kamehameha wave. Now they're both extremely tired. Goku looks like he just got done facing off against Frieza. But then again, remember, he did take an attack from a Dragon Ball Z character essentially. So at this point, yes, he would be weakened. And this is kind of where Luffy messes up in this fight because he tries to attack Goku with hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I don't think is a smart idea. Goku is a master fighter while Luffy is more of a brawler from what I've seen. His attacks are very brawler-like, so Goku even goes into somewhat of a Kaioken and easily dispatches Luffy and takes him out. But before he can even savor his victory, because he's about to call King Kai, he's ready to get out of there, he gets hit by a kick from the newly recovered Sanji, who seems to have gotten his second wind after coming to, and then immediately after that, Goku gets hit by Zoro's sword attack and it actually cuts right through his skin. At this point now the entire pirate crew is attacking Goku left and right. Characters that we thought were out of the fight are back into the fight, new characters are showing up and they're just hammering Goku with all these different abilities. They attack him so fast and so ferociously that Goku really doesn't have a chance to counter and he tries but then realizes that they all have fled and that's when Usopp tells him that no, they didn't flee from you. They're fleeing because they're trying to save the town. The town is now engulfed in flames. It's on fire. It's basically destroyed. And basically all of it is Goku's fault. Goku came there looking for a fight. Now the town and its people are in danger. And Usopp is the one that has to tell Goku that you didn't start the fight. And if what you say is true, then you need to stop this, you awful bastard. I don't care what you are. You need to stop this and cut it out. And... Goku realizes that, my god, the whole town's in fire, these guys are trying to save the people in the town. What has he done? He's lost sight of the reason that he was there. So with the last little bit of his energy, Goku does one clap, and all the fires are extinguished. And that's when Goku's done with the fight. His body cannot handle the stress from Kaioken times 2, he realizes this now. So Goku is in dire straits, and he calls for King Kai. To come and rescue him and that's when Luffy confronts him before he leaves and tells him basically the same line that Goku tells everybody that oh next time I fight you I'm going to win and I think that Luffy probably did see Goku save the town by putting out all the fires and stuff so maybe now he's realizing that Goku's not that bad after all and that is when Goku goes through the portal and goes back to King Kai. So Goku's report to King Kai states that it wasn't easy, but it was definitely a good training lesson. And then King Kai goes, how did your fight with Whitebeard go? And so he was never there to fight Luffy at all. He was actually there to fight a character called Whitebeard. Now, if you don't know who Whitebeard is, I don't know who he is either. I actually had to look him up. And I saw some of his bio, but I still don't really know too much about him. So this is where I'm going to leave it to you, One Piece fans. If you guys could, go ahead and go to the comment section and leave us some bios on Whitebeard to tell us who he is. Is he the OP character in One Piece? Is he the strongest guy in One Piece? I don't really know, but I'm assuming that's the reason that King Kai sent Goku, of all people, to go deal with him. But either way, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching all these videos and supporting the Dragon Ball X One Piece fan manga series. Now it's time for me to edit this, render, and upload to YouTube and jump on some Jump Force. This is going to be Blackscape. Signing off. Take care, guys.